take our seats. Okay, welcome to this evening's meeting. We're going to have our invocation by Senior Pastor Isaiah J. Waddy of St. Paul AME Church in Atlanta, be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. If you would, please stand with me. As, there you go. Good to see you again, Pastor. And he is a Clay County resident. <laughs> Let us pray. Omnit God, we come to you two days after the two-year remembrance of the, the mass murder of nine black worshipers at Mother Manuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina, an American city. We come, Lord, one day after the crying of a baby, begging for her father in a holding cage in Texas, separated from her parents by an American institution. We come on this day, God, June 19th, known as Juneteenth, to recognize the date that was two years after the signing of the Declaration of the Emancipation Proclamation. The black slaves were finally freed in Texas, an American state. We come to you this day when America still denies the humanity of black and brown people, asking for your divine guidance, wisdom, and presence as we began this meeting of this August body. Guide this meeting into meaningful deliberation that will enable this community and its citizens to grow closer and bond as a community. Grant guidance as decisions are considered and made that will affect the citizens of Clayton County. Remind us that all that we do here today is for the pursuit of truth and for the greater glory and unity of you and all humanity. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. Good evening and welcome to the June 19, 2018 regular business meeting. The first order of business is the adoption of the agenda. Does any member want to offer any amendments? Yes, Madam Clerk, I would like to ask that the, <clears throat> the SPLOS presentation be removed at this time. Is there a second? Second. second. Uh, those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Nay. That's three to it passes. The next, uh, Mr. Hancock, it could you help us like with that? Did you hold on a second? No, I, I, it thought you, like what? I thought you passed, uh, say yay no, for no. the SPLOS presentation because no. they're not ready to present. So you just don't tell them to come up and present it anyway. Where are they? Uh, oh. Ms. Stanford. I was looking forward to hearing. Oh, I thought it was about the rec center. It, it was so we asked for it to be removed um, DCO was still getting some additional information and was asking for this to be removed until the next board meeting I didn't have that most recent information okay yeah. I'm sorry Mr. Harris I'd be considerate okay you're gonna reconsider yes I'm not aware of that information either <laughs> okay so there is a motion for reconsideration on the removing of the SPLOS presentation again I'll offer Offer that as a motion. Is there a second? <laughs> or, you got that face. Uh, those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed. It's unanimous. Uh, Mr. Hancock. Mr. Chairman, thank you. On behalf of Central Services and Transportation and Development, we'd ask the board to add, to add as an emergency item the approval and authorization for the chairman to sign a change order in the contract between uh, <laughs> contract ITB number 17 210 for the Stagecoach Road and Steel Road <coughs> intersection improvement and turn lane construction for East Clayton schools. The reason that it is an emergency is it has been determined 
that they are the steel road portion is not going to be completed in time to uh, for school to start and the change order in the amount of fifty four thousand four hundred thirty dollars and ninety nine cents would allow the contractor to build and remove a temporary road over school property uh, which they can get done in order to allow access to that school until steel road is complete, completed every day is important to get that started and that's why it's an emergency uh, in addition uh, joint request by the applicants and the uh, county that items 17 18 and 19 all three zoning requests be removed and rescheduled until the next zoning hearing and the applicants or their council are here uh, if the uh, and, and the, we would we would be deferring uh, both the public comment period as well as the vote. Uh, hold on, okay, you, you just me. lost me. I'm sorry. So we went from the request, the emergency measure, right. to now removing or asking the... The board to remove items 17, 18, and 19 on page 12, which is all three of the zoning items. Mm -hmm. You said the applicants are here? Yes, sir, they are. And they're the ones who request it. it's a joint request joint uh, request. yes sir it is uh-huh okay so let me let me take the uh, emergency item first I will place that in the form of a motion and ask that it be added to the consent agenda under BB is there a second Mr. those in favor aye. aye aye opposed it's unanimous the second one is a request to remove item 17, 18, 19, zoning request, uh, zoning hearing rather, at the county's and applicants' requests. Is there a uh, second? I'll make second. I make the motion. I made the motion. Okay. A second. All right. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Thank you, sir. Mr. Mr. Chair. Chair. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman, I did just want to say for the record, the uh, zoning items will be moved to the July 17th regular business meeting agenda. Ms. Hancock, did they discuss that they will be ready or yes, prefer I that date? Yes, we'll be ready by then and we will, we will advertise again for that date. Okay, duly noted. Uh, I just had a question, Mr. Chair. On the consent agenda, if there are items that we need to take separately, is that at this time or later? Yeah, you can ask that they be taken off of the consent agenda and added to the um, regular agenda I do um, items Q R S T U V and W and X I would like for them to be placed on the um, regular agenda okay give me those numbers those again Q R S T U V W and X okay is there a second I'll second the motion those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Mr. Chairman? Mr. Evans. Make a motion to hold items 12, 13, 14, and 15 appointments to the library board. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there a second? Second. Any questions? My one question about this, is there any particular reason why we keep holding these board uh, appointments? Because I am ready to make a appointment same reason as last time the hearing that's been publicly advertised has been carried forward okay. mr. mr. chair if I may add that hearing has been postponed several times and I don't know can we ask mr. Hancock is is that considering that the folks on the, the individuals on the board can no longer serve uh, how does that affect their eligibility I mean are we in line with the bylaws because according to what I have read as well as spoken with or communicated with one of the other board members um, as much as I appreciate those that are serving and I wish they could stay I really do um, Brenda Rayburn is is um, definitely she turned out yes but my point is according to the bylaws they can no longer serve so and one and to that point one of the ladies is deceased I'm not asking them to be term limited out. In the in the absence of an of a replacement, I contend that they continue to hold that position. So they're not serving it for a third term. They're just filling the, the existing term. Yeah, but uh, my point here is that the lady that's deceased. There's no reason why we should not fill that position. 
to answer your question, I, it's correct. They, they can continue to serve until their until their replacement is appointed. Uh, the hearing uh, has been has, was continued one time at the request right. of the, of, of uh, the uh, employee of the library system, and it is scheduled for next Tuesday, I believe. It's next week. I because I originally received an original date and then it was postponed to another date and then myself and another resident here in the county showed up to that hearing and it w I found out at that time that it was continued again based upon the employee so yeah, it seems so like it wasn't scheduled once. I got you so and, there was a and, mistake and, in the schedule and the employee requested it be continued and it was continued uh, until Okay, the 26th. Yes, sir. No problem. Thank you. No okay. problem. Any other questions? No, sir. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Nay. Three, two, it passes. Any others? All right. Are there any further amendments? Hearing none, may we have a motion to adopt the agenda with the approved amendments? All right. Is there a motion? So moved, move, Mr. Chair. Is there a second? second. I'll second. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. The board has one proclamation to present this evening. Clayton County observes July 2018 as National Park and Recreation Month, as presented by Chairman Turner, Mr. Troy Hodges, Parks and Recreation Director, as well as staff. Please come forward at this time as the commissioners join you for the presentation of the proclamation. And now the reading of the proclamation. Clayton County observes July 2018 as National Park and Recreation Month. Whereas parks and recreation programs are an integral part of communities throughout this country, including Clayton County, Georgia. And whereas our parks and recreation are vitally important to establishing and maintaining the quality of life in our communities, ensuring the health of all citizens, and contributing to the economic and environmental well-being of a community and region. 
and whereas parks and recreation programs build healthy, active communities that aid in the prevention of chronic disease, provide therapeutic recreation services for those who are mentally or physically disabled, and also improve the mental and emotional health of all citizens. And whereas, parks and recreation programs increase a community's economic prosperity through increased property values, expansion of the local tax base, increased tourism, the attraction and retention of businesses, and crime reduction. And whereas, our parks and recreation areas are fundamental to the environmental well-being of our community by improving water quality, protecting groundwater, preventing floods, improving the quality of the air we breathe, providing vegetative buffers to development, and producing habitat for wildlife. And whereas, our parks and natural recreation areas ensure the ecological beauty of our community and provide a place for children and adults to connect with nature and recreate outdoors. Now therefore, I, Jeffrey E. Turner, Chairman, on behalf of the Clayton County Board of Commissioners, do hereby proclaim July 2018 as National Park and Recreation Month in Clayton County, Georgia, and encourages all citizens to recognize the benefits derived from parks and recreational resources. In witness thereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of Clayton County, Georgia to be affixed this 19th day of June in the year 2018. Jeffrey E. Turner, Chairman. The board will hear a presentation on the comprehensive transportation plan update. Uh, the introduction will be done by Jeff Matarco, the Director of Department of Transportation and Development, and presented by WSP USA. Good evening. Uh, the update to our county's comprehensive transportation plan is winding down. Um, this is a project funded for by ARC and required by them for local planning initiatives for transportation. Uh, we have here tonight our consultant um, from WSP, Audra Rojek, um, and she's going to go through the process of this update to the county transportation plan. Thank you, commissioners, for having me tonight. I am thrilled to be here to tell you about what I do for a living. I am going to try not to be so excited about telling you about it that I keep you here all night, but uh, I was working again on the Comprehensive Transportation Plan, that is the CTP, for those of us who don't want to say that over and over again all night, and it is something that we do for ARC so that we can guarantee bottom-up approach to planning and address local needs in a regional context. So the first step in a CTP is we look at existing conditions and we try to set a vision for what we're going to do. In this case, what you're seeing here, since it doesn't look like it has anything to do with transportation planning, is actually the vision for Clayton that we got when we did a survey of the people who live here, as, as well as um, some stakeholder <coughs> interviews and some, uh, some initial meetings to learn from people about what they want to see in their area. And people here want to have a want to have a residential experience that reflects a good quality of life, that is family oriented, that's safe. Those are things don't necessarily translate into traffic reduction, but that wasn't the most important thing to a lot of people. It was about being in a place they wanted to be. That's not something that we can't not support with a CTP. That's something that transportation investments and local investments can support. We can get better, a better quality of life and we can make places safer to be. 
So our process is existing conditions followed by needs, what do you actually need to get where you're going, and then recommendations that will address those needs. So when we look at your needs, luckily you can see that every single road almost in the county has some sort of need on it, but that they're really concentrated in the northern part, like you'd expect closer to Atlanta, more traffic, more safety issues. That's good and bad news. The good news is that GDOT currently has programmed in the transportation improvement plan, program, excuse me, over the next five years, um, almost $200 million in federal and state funding to widen some of those important state routes in the northern part of the county. Now, if a lot of these issues are being dealt with, uh, I don't really have to make a recommendation onto any of those roads because it's already in the plan. Now, getting GDOT to deliver those projects and in a timely manner and make the improvements that your residents need, that is in GDOT's hand and also in maybe a political issue. But it's not something that I can actually go out and say, well, go do this because already somebody had that idea. So we looked at local needs. And these are actually pretty evenly distributed throughout the county because everybody has a safety issue. There's county roads everywhere. And there's a lot of places where you have accidents or delay because of the way that you've got some old rural roads that are sort of being used to, in suburban contexts. Now, we're not doing this alone. We had your help in getting people out to public meetings. We also had some uh, help from MARTA and GDOT. MARTA and GDOT are both looking at very important parts of the transportation puzzle in, in Clayton County that sort of therefore became outside the scope of our study. Number one, MARTA's decisions whenever they decide to make them about what the major transportation or the major transit investment is going to be, it's going to affect a lot of the local investments that you guys decide to make. Whether it's uh, connectors like <coughs> smaller circulator buses or sidewalks, a lot of those things are gonna happen around wherever that transit improvement comes. We just don't know where that's going to be yet. So the next CTP will probably have a lot on its hands in terms of what MARTA is deciding to do. Second, Terra Boulevard. This is probably the most important road in your whole county, but GDOT is currently studying it, and so we just are sort of waiting to see what they're going to recommend there. The good news is that at least they're aware of the fact that it's very important and that you, they need to come up with very interesting solutions. Also, um, I would like to say our second round of public meetings was really well attended because we reached out um, to you, to a lot of you put us on your mailing list and that was great support, but we also went to MARTA and said, we're getting so many questions about what you're doing with bus service and transit service that you should really come to our meetings and answer those questions because I don't know the answers. And they, they actually did it. We also, our recommendations fall across these lines. We looked at safety improvements like intersections that you can make a little safer. Uh, sidewalks are a big part of what we're looking at in recommendations for local, pro local projects. And then of course freight is a big lifeline for this area, but also it has a lot of externalities associated with it and you wanna make sure that you're connecting it, that freight stays in a freight happy area and that you're not affecting the people who live here. And of course, system preservation, which is maintenance. That is the least, that's the thing that most people are the least interested in, but rely the most upon. And like I said, we had great input at the very last meeting, uh, especially. We had 220 people come out to our four open houses. That, um, I've done some other CTPs and nobody, that never happens. So thank you very much for the support and thank you to the people of Clayton County for coming out and caring enough to talk to us. What we did is we looked at what they told us, and that helped us prioritize some projects, understand what was important to the people who live here, and like, let that be reflected in our recommendations. And then, of course, it's not just a matter of what you want, but what you can pay for. So we projected what we think you're going to have in SPLOS funding, and what part of that we think was going to come to transportation impro improvements. And then we matched that with the projects. Some projects are gonna be in an unconstrained list. That just means that we don't have a funding assigned to them yet, but that doesn't mean they won't get built. And within the constrained plan, you can see that most of the money currently is going to maintenance, followed by safety improvements, including a county road safety program, 
and a sidewalk program, and then finally and least, capacity and operations because so many of those program projects are already in the hopper. Now, what happens next? Well, we're gonna finish up what we're doing here. Uh, we'll provide the plan to you for your consideration in July. I've optimistically included adoption, but that's really <laughs> out of my hands. And then again, you'll get a chance with ARPC support to update it again in five years. Do you have any questions? All right, any questions? I do. I have one quick question. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your presentation. Very good. Thank you. Uh, I know I actually participated in the um, sessions. Mm -hmm. And um, I know the sessions were actually collaborative firm was involved. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to. So you're presenting, but Collaborative Firm is the one who helped conduct the sessions? Yes, they were. They are a sub to us, so we're considered the prime and sort of the leader of the project, but they were really key in helping us deliver great meetings. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you. Any other questions? I have a question. I should have myself. Sergeant, we met about a month or two ago. That's right. You and I and Marta, and we talked about the $67 million Half penny collections for Clayton County Transit. Mm -hmm. I noticed you didn't mention that in your funding sources. No, because it technically would be a MARTA funding source. They we're leaving the planning of anything in that goes to MARTA and it's not under the purview of the county per se. So it wouldn't be under the CTP, it would be um, under the MARTA transit plan. Which provides under the 13th Amendment that we sign off on that for Clayton County transportation only. Right. So why didn't you include it? It was my understanding that that would be under Martyr's purview. Sorry, Did you review that, that please? It, would be, it was my understanding that that money is under Marta's purview for delivering the transit. We can recommend that through ARC, but it and we are in favor of it. We have documentation that says we sh we're expecting it to be delivered and that we know you are on a timetable or MARTA's on a timetable. But we don't, the, I don't believe that the CTP has the authority to actually make them choose one way or another. Okay. Um, Surprising. I will, I will I'm sorry say for this. interrupting you. No, I apologize. I will say this though. When we first began, my direct question, I had a detailed conversation with, um, our, our COO, and after I left the meeting in District 3, mm -hmm. and I noticed that there were several key people that were not necessarily at the table. So I thank you all for what you have done, I really do, but I do have some further questions for Clayton Collaborative because I stated at that time that um, I believe that Marta was not aware of some of those meetings, and I called to make sure, as, and as well as a couple of other entities. So I ha that's why I asked the question about Clayton Collaborative because I sent over a detailed, um, detailed information regarding some concerns I had. But at any rate, this is just a plan, <laughs> but we need to learn to put together a plan that we could use and have all parties there at the table, no matter where the dollars are coming from, in order to make sure that the citizen, citizens of Clayton County get the level of service that we need and deserve. So. Otherwise, it's a, time, a waste of time and money. So. Um, no, I, I won't say that, Chair. Any other questions, statements, comments? Thank you. Thank again you. For your Thank you so Thank much. You. Mr. Chairman, the board will now consider the consent agenda. And before we before we do so, let me uh, ask a question. Uh, since I already made a motion to add BB as the uh, emergency item for the change order for the roadway, temporary roadway for the school system. <laughs> can I make a motion to take it off so we can take it separate so you can provide additional information? Yes, is it procedurally that would be correct? Yes, sir, it would be. Okay, well, I ask, uh, make a motion to <coughs> remove item BB from the consent agenda, which deals with the emergency item, change order for the temporary road for the school system. Is there a second? So moved. Second. Any questions? <coughs> Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Clerk. Um, the board will consider the consent agenda with the exclusions of items Q through X. Is there a motion? So, so moved. moved. Is there a second? Second. Any questions? Hearing none. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. 
Mr. Chairman, members of the board, we can address items Q through X. Jack Hancock, County Attorney. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, uh, Commissioner Warner, yes, could sir. we consider We've these together? Okay. Yes, yes. First take BB. All right. Item BB, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, is a request to approve a change order to contract uh, between Clayton County, Georgia, and AM Construction LLC and ITB number 17 210, the Stagecoach Road at Steel Road intersection, improvement in turn lane construction for East Clayton Schools in the amount of $54,430.99 uh, to in construct and remove a temporary roadway through the uh, school property and the school board will be providing an easement through that property for that purpose uh, to provide access but, uh, for school use until the road is completed to authorize the chairman to execute any documents necessary and the uh, finance director uh, the CFO to amend the budget as necessary because there a motion so moved is there a second, second Mr. any questions hearing none those in favor aye Aye. Oppose. It's unanimous. Please take the remainder together. Uh, what is it? X through Z or something? Yes, sir. 2018-55 through 62 are all resolutions, separate resolutions authorizing Clayton County to exercise its power of eminent domain in accordance with the provisions of Georgia laws for the purpose of acquiring certain property for use by the Clayton County Department of Transportation and Development for the Mount, Zion, Mount Zion Boulevard widening project from South Lake Parkway to Lake Harbin Road and the Battle Creek Road widening project from Valley Hill Road to South Lake Parkway to authorize the chairman to execute any and all documents relating thereto and otherwise to perform all acts necessary to accomplish the intent of the resolutions to provide an effective date of the resolutions and for other purposes the various resolutions involve 56 parcels within those two projects. Is there a motion? So moved. Or a second. Second, Mr. Chairman. Any questions? Hearing none, those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. 4 1, it passes. And then the item ordinance number 2018 65 is an ordinance to amend the Code of Clayton County, Georgia, as amended specifically to amend Chapter 42, Fire Prevention and Protection, by amending the title of Chapter 42 and deleting in it, it in its entirety and replacing it with a new Chapter 42 fire protection and emergency medical services to repeal conflicting laws, ordinances, and resolutions to provide for severability, to provide for an effective date of this ordinance and other purposes. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any questions? Here and now, those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Mr. Chairman, we do need an executive session on litigation matters. Okay. Mr. Chairman, we'll go back up to number nine, the public hearing. That's for the stream buffer various requests for 639 Garden Walk Boulevard. The request is for the Board of Commissioners to consider the approval of a stream buffer variance and non impervious setback for property located at 639 Garden Walk Boulevard for the proposed entrance road on the southern portion of the property. Okay, at this time we enter into our public uh, hearing. In reference to a stream buffer variance requests, are there is there anyone here to speak for or against this request? Please state your name and company where you work for or whoever you represent. Thank you. I'm Mary Brooks. I rep work with uh, Geotechnical and Environmental Consultants in Macon, Georgia. So we're here tonight to ask for a stream buffer variance. Um, an encroachment into the 50 foot and 75 foot stream buffer um, for an entrance road off of <coughs> Garden Park, Garden Walk Boulevard, excuse me. And um, this has already been approved, the 25 foot um, stream buffer encroachment has already been approved by the state um, of Georgia, as well as a um, very small portion has been um, permitted by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Any questions? What was your name again, ma'am? Mary Brooks. Mary Brooks. Any questions for Ms. Brooks? <clears throat> All right. Is there anybody else who would like to speak for or against this measure or request? Hearing none, I think this uh, is in your district. Any questions for her? 
Uh, this is my first time hearing of this. Uh, we sent in um, a whole buffer variance packet um, in May. So it should have been distributed as far as I know. It was sent in to uh, Lee. Not sure Lee's last name. I have to go back and check. Mr. Mataco, you have any inside as to this request? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Uh, it was distributed in the in the agenda package. This is for um, a project on Mount Zion Boulevard that the driveway that we reviewed their plans in order to get ingress and egress to match up with the um, median opening on Garmark Boulevard. It has to go through the stream buffer, so we're in support of this um, um, variance in order for the safety of the um, driveway. Mr. Yes, Chair, sir. Mr. Chair, I do see it here in the agenda packet in an electronic format, so I don't know. Okay. But uh, I have. It. It said Mount Zion Road. This is this. I, I looked this up on the map. This is on north of, of Riverdale, right? Way up there. I said Mount Zion. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's on Garden Boulevard, at, um, close it, to West Lee's Mill Road. It's not next to the hospital. It's all the way on the other side of the city limits. On the other side. Highway 85. Uh, right. 85. Yes, sir. All right. Any other questions, comments? Anybody else still want to speak for or against? Ms. Hancock, uh, Mr. Hancock, is this a um, just a hearing, or are we looking to take some action on it? Uh, we would need your approval to proceed to vote. We'll need to vote on it. Uh, Ms. Okay. Uh, Hamburg, are you ready to uh, move forward? Yes, I would like to recommend approval. Is there a second? A second. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, the last few items are board appointments. All right, the first board appointment is to the Code Enforcement bo Board to fill the expiring term of Maddie Welch. The term is three years expiring on July 16, 2021. Full board appointment. Are there any recommendations? Yes, sir, Mr. Chair. May I ask, is there anything prohibiting Ms. Maddie Welch from being reappointed? Okay, I would like to reappoint Ms. Maddie Welch to that board. I'll second. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Second appointment is to the Solid Waste Authority, Solid Waste Management Authority Board to fill the unexpired term of Andrew Love for non attendance. Term expires on December 31st, 2020. For bo full board appointment. Any recommendations, nominations? I would like to uh, recommend Lieutenant McDonald to that position or to that board. Is there a second? Uh, Go ahead. I second it. Okay. Uh, probably moved and second. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Okay. And just for the record, Lieutenant the McDonald is the one who's in charge of uh, refuge right. control. Mm -hmm. So they yeah, have somebody who's out there doing, working on. on and we tried to do that once before. and. Uh, it was some pushback because um, we were told at that time that uh, members of that particular department could not serve. Uh, we check, checked the uh, bylaws, nothing in it, uh, excluding so him changed. from being, I don't okay. know if it changed how long ago. No, but I, I mean, I, I really, I highly recommend that. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with that. I just want to make sure that right. uh, it can be done. Okay. We'll double check again, but right now everything looks to be no problem with him serving. Uh, Madam Clerk, that concludes the agenda for this evening. We have a motion. Well, we need a motion to go into executive session for litigation. I'll so make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Good night. <laughs> All right, motion to uh, reconvene. I'll second. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Jack, did, we didn't have anything to say. All right, motion to adjourn then. So moved. Yes. Got, uh, I second. All right. I second. Those in favor, aye. So moved. Opposed? It's unanimous.